Good evening, everybody. It's Jeff Hem here with you once again. The Sounds and the Express go at it tonight in Game 3 of this four-game series. And what else could we see tonight that we have not seen in the first two games of this series? A wild start to the set. And the Sounds have them on the corners with nobody out. And now Renato Nunez stands in. Renato lines a base hit to left, and the Sounds lead one to nothing. Brugman comes in. Pender stops at second. Three consecutive hits for the Sounds. They're on the corners now for Ryan Healy. Here's the 0-1. Here's a drive to left center by Healy. On the run to Shields. That's a base hit all the way back to the wall. Pender is in. Lambeau's being waved around. He's going to try to score. He does. Standing up. Ryan Healy plates a couple of runs. 3-0 Sounds. And now it gives Joey Wendell a chance to bat with the bases loaded. And a 1-2 pitch. Joey, it's a high fly ball to left center, playable. A little shallow. Strausberger in. And Strausberger can't make the play. One run is in. Two runs are in. Olsen scores. A little floater into left center, and somehow it dropped. The Sounds get a break, and they lead 6-2. Maxwell, first down for the Sounds, bottom of the fourth inning here at First Tennessee Park. Kyle Loesch to Bruce Maxwell, who drives it in the air. Deep right field, back is Robinson at the wall. Gone! Bruce Maxwell on the first pitch in the fourth inning. Hits one out. His first home run as a Sound. Solo shot, and the Sounds lead 7-2. Nicholas at second, Davis at first. They're not really being paid much attention. They go, the 3-2, and a strike three called. Sounds win, sounds win. Bernier called out on strikes. Healy hit the outside corner, and the Sounds win it. 18-3 and three now in their last 21 games. Perhaps starting a new win streak tonight, Tucker Healy fanning Doug Bernier, and the Sounds take control of this four-game series, a final tonight of 8-5. to five.